What is happening, loyal Planet Chinchilla fans? Josh here with the Planet Chinchilla YouTube channel, creator of planetchinchilla.com. And today I wanted to make a video about if you are curious if a chinchilla would make a good pet for a beginner pet owner or not. If that is you, that is what this video is all about and we are starting right now. Hello, Chili. What can I do for you this evening? seem uh, a little skittish not very big fan of the camera are you come right here yeah come here go okay don't then whatever all right guys so here is the deal with being a beginner pet owner and owning a chinchilla most of the time it will make no sense to adopt a chinchilla as your first pet but that doesn't mean always that that makes the most sense if you're curious as to why i'm glad you asked because that's what i plan on telling you right now and it is because the number one thing that you need to have if you own one of these guys is patience and for a beginner or a new pet owner that's never owned a pet before patience can be tested tried and pushed to the limit and with chinchillas the biggest thing number one thing seriously is building a bond with them and the amount of patience it can take to do so seriously seriously so as a beginner pet owner why would this be so frustrating or why do I think you shouldn't do it? Well, in all honesty, I'm not saying not to do it, but I do want you to understand that in the beginning, a lot of the ownership and interaction you're gonna have with your chinchilla is gonna look a lot like this. So. How many more days until you think I can get you out of the cage? Okay. How many more days until you're gonna come out of that hiding box? Another month. Already? How many more days until you do anything that shows that you like me? That long, huh? All right then, guess we'll get through it together. Pound it. Yep, that's right. It's my homie. All right guys, so on a more serious note with this, it it's not gonna be that bad. Um, that was clearly a little bit of an exaggeration. You'll be able to interact with them more than what I just showed there, but it's still somewhat true. In the beginning, these guys are skittish, they take time to adapt to you and you have to be patient otherwise it won't happen and you can actually make it take longer by rushing it with that being said if you're looking for a pet that you can immediately you know show off hold cuddle and do all of those cool things with this chinchilla definitely can become that but that's not how it goes in the beginning and a lot of beginner pet owners are going to be frustrated by that if you know this going into it then you can definitely consider getting a chinchilla because once you make it through that initial phase they can become one of the best pets you'll ever adopt now let's also talk about a few other reasons why adopting a chinchilla as a beginner pet owner may not be the best idea all right, one of the next reasons, guys, is the fragile handling that is involved with owning a chinchilla. No, they're not, you know, going to break if you grab them just a little bit wrong, but they do have fragile little bones. They do need to be picked up correctly, handled correctly, and not pushed to be handled when they don't want to be. So you need to take the time to learn those things, use useful resources to get better at it, and to make sure you're doing it correctly, which a breeder can help you do this on the day that you adopt them. 
and plenty of other resources, even like this YouTube channel here. Make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed so you get the help that you need. Or just useful blogs can help you learn how to do these things, making it much more feasible for a beginner pet owner to decide to adopt a chinchilla. And then another reason, guys, why sometimes it's not recommended for a brand new pet owner is some of the other small things that come with owning a chinchilla in general. So they have very fragile stomachs when it comes to eating certain treats and foods such as vegetables and fruits. You'd be shocked at how many people try and give their chinchillas these things, but they're not safe, especially never fresh fruits, never fresh vegetables causes diarrhea, massive digestive issues can really wreak havoc on them. And the point I'm trying to make is research is involved. And you know, when you own a dog or even a cat, it's not that you don't need to research about them, but a lot of pet owners learn some of the things through trial and error. And I'm not talking things that risk the pet's health. I'm talking just potty training and common frustration points when it comes to owning a pet with a chinchilla those common frustration points are more magnified. Like you, you get really frustrated in the beginning when they don't want to bond with you or when they don't want to come out of this hiding box. They will eventually, I promise. There's plenty of YouTube channel or channels, yes, there is, and videos on this channel demonstrating that. But depending on your age as you're watching this and the patience you have to learn those things, to learn her getting used to your voice, your presence interacting with you, it may or may not be the best idea. And guys, you also have things like cleaning the cage, which is not rocket science by any means, but for a beginner, it may be more difficult than you thought. So I'm using these fleece liners that you can see here. I'm not using like typical bedding, like aspen shavings. And I need to get her out actually tonight interact with her in her playpen that I use for it or a chinchilla proof room, wash these fleece liners, discard all of the poop in the cage, refill her pellets, give her her hay, do her water bottle, etc. So again, one of those things that if you're willing to research, if you're willing to learn, uh, chinchilla is most likely perfectly fine, especially with the patients. If you're not, you may not be the first best pet for you as a beginner guys and another reason i definitely definitely want to point out is if you just don't have the bandwidth in your life to provide any socialization for these guys which basically means just getting them out of the cage interacting with them once they adapt to you giving them some time to play in a safe room in a playpen whatever makes the most sense for you if you don't have that bandwidth nor do you want to do it don't adopt one because at that point you just have this cage a chinchilla in it and they're not happy there's no reason for you to have to clean a cage if you don't want to you know give them the proper love and care it just doesn't make sense so if you don't have the bandwidth don't do it it's common sense so guys how do you summarize this in a nutshell for somebody considering a chinchilla well if you meet the criteria of what i discussed which is you're willing to learn to handle these guys correctly. You're willing to socialize with them and you have the bandwidth. You're willing to learn what is safe for them. And you want to do these things and you want to take care of them and clean the cage regularly. And you have the patience, then a chinchilla can be a great pet for you, especially since I live 15 or more years with proper care. But on the flip side, you know, full disclaimer, if none of that makes sense to you, don't adopt one. There's plenty of people who love these chinchillas. They're happy to adopt them and they're, they will do those things. So, and that's nothing against you or chinchillas. It's just, if it makes sense, go for it. If it doesn't, don't do it. So really guys, whether or not a chinchilla will make a good pet for you or a beginner is up to you and you only. Nobody can tell you it's a good idea or a bad idea. Only you truly know that. So make the decision. I hope you decide to adopt one. I hope you have the bandwidth to give them the attention and the care that they deserve. I advocate for them clearly as a YouTube channel creator for chinchillas and the creator of planetchinchilla.com. So clearly, I think you should get one. I think Chili here 
is awesome. She's not really feeling the camera today. It is also a weird time for me to be making a video, plus I moved her cage, so that'll startle them. There's a good example. Little things like that will put them right back in that nesting box a little bit scared to come out. Keep that in mind. But guys, as always, Chili and I appreciate all of you that watch this channel. We hope that if you find this content helpful, that you are willing to give us a thumbs up down below, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification button so you are notified every Tuesday, every Thursday, when the new videos come out. Thank you guys again. We will see you in the next video. Stay safe and take care. Chili, any final words? No, you just want me to put the cage back? Roger that. Mm -hmm.